You, you know what? I'll be honest. Sometimes it feels like we are living in an incredibly backwards, wasteful, idiotic world that only punishes people who try to make it better. But sometimes those people win, and this is why we do what we do almost every single day on this independent media organization that is not controlled by either the left-wing criminal mental illness institution nor the right wing. And again, just covering the news, how can you not feel that the world has gone absolutely mad, including the fact that it just came out that fish that are caught off the coast of the United Kingdom are shipped to China to be processed, only to be shipped back to the United Kingdom to be sold in supermarkets in England. So yeah, we're gonna get into that, plus a lot more, including the big rivalries that are happening right now and expanding with conflicts with Trump versus Greta, Tulsi versus the turkey gullet herself, Hillary Rodham Clinton, and of course, Jeff Bezos versus the Saudi prince, who I, I think I think it, there's information concerning Jeff Bezos' uh, schlong photos that were released. We're going to get into that plus a lot more. But before we do, I wanted to make an important announcement about Anarcapoco, a jam-packed event coming up very soon in Acapulco, Mexico, with amazing speakers like Ron Paul, Freeway, Ricky Ross, James Corbett, many others. I will be there myself speaking and doing a travel hack workshop. And after talking to the organizer of this event and convincing them to jam pack this event, especially with hippies, we are doing a special promo code with 40% off tickets. Yes, 40 four zero percent off your tickets right now with the promo code wrc please let's not uh overuse this it's uh again I, because no one's really making uh any any money here but if you know any cool people or if you know any hippies that should attend this incredible event definitely let them know that promo code wrc specifically gives them 40 percent off tickets. Also, if you're traveling on a budget and finding it difficult to get to Acapulco, I would strongly suggest to what I've been doing to save money on this trip, and that is flying to Mexico City, which has a lot of different airports, and then taking one of the first class, very cheap and affordable bus rides down to Acapulco, which honestly saves you a lot of money and sometimes even times because of the constant delays between Mexico City and Acapulco Airport. So hope to see you at Anarcapoco. Check out the links down below to participate in this really cool event. Now, lots to get into as far as the news today. A lot of boob tube prostitute media is talking about impeachment, which honestly, a lot of people don't really seem interested in online, to be completely honest. But Donald Trump is still making headlines, specifically with the war of words that's happening between him and child climate activist Greta Thunberg that is unfolding right now at Davos. Now, these two political figures are obviously slamming each other. And honestly, I'm not a fan of any of these individuals. And I'm kind of going to skip over this this article since, you know, a lot of people are talking about it, but it, it, it's mainly a distraction. But, you know, when it comes to very sophisticated and complicated geopolitical matters or matters regarding our environment and climate, I always love to first get all of my advice and opinions from children and then, of course, a second from reality TV stars. Now, moving forward, I think it's clear that there's obvious problems with this world. Like, you know, corporations using Chinese slave labor to waste incredible amounts of resources and energy to make a profit, literally catching fish off the coast of the United Kingdom, as we mentioned earlier in this video, and sending them on a 10 thousand mile trek to make a little bit more profit from the consumer and again this is just absolutely stupid and idiotic and that's why i don't think these little spats and and these pundits and these figures and these politicians will be the answer to any of this and i definitely don't have any faith in china that of course has a massive state that is riddled with corruption and cover-ups that we should definitely be worried about especially with the latest news about this coronavirus which has allegedly again uh, th these numbers can't be trusted from the government because in in similar cases they're either hyping them up to scare the crap out of everyone or underplaying them to hide their incompetency and, and again both are possible here because governments have been caught doing both in similar situations but the information we're getting that allegedly 10,000 people have been in Infected and 17 died from this new strain of virus, which I think should be treated very seriously, since 
It's a SARS-like disease that, that has already spread to Taiwan, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, and we already are seeing the first confirmed case in the United States on Tuesday, as Donald Trump says that he now has a plan to contain these uh, new cases from emerging and stopping this new strain of virus. Now, another reason why we should be extremely skeptical of the corporatocracy, especially when it comes to them trying to save as much money as they can, a nickel and diming and thinking of all crazy schemes that are incredibly stupid to make a profit off of, because as the first story we mentioned, it is also important to note here that this virus allegedly first spread to humans from a seafood market in China, which uh, also illegally traded wild animals. Now, the United States has put up a screening system at five major airports, testing all passengers coming from Wuhan, Chinese location where this virus is spreading right now. And this is something, of course, that I will be keeping a close eye on, and I may even do a specific video on, since, again, this is not the first kind of rodeo that I've been seeing this kind of media panic surrounding now whether to take it seriously or not that is not a decision for me to make but if you are interested in me researching and diving deep into this topic let me know in the comment section below and i will dedicate a lot of research to make a video specifically just about this topic but again just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see this now while all of this is happening china the big central authority here well some of their government officials are not really worried about the virus, they're more worried about pajamas, as a Chinese city and its politicians are using facial recognition to shame people publicly for wearing pajamas. Yes, pajamas. Government officials in Suhao released photos of seven citizens of their country wearing pajamas in public along with their names, identifications, and other information, publicly labeling them as uncivilized, trying to target them for shame and outrage for freaking wearing pajamas. Reason 1,565 gajillion billion gillion why, um... The, the government should never be the answer to any of the problems we're facing in this world. But luckily, because of outcry from citizens being like, this is really dumb, this is really stupid, we should really not be trusting government with any major decisions since this is what they focus on in China. After an outrage by the public, city officials and the politicians responsible for this had to apologize for doing this, when in reality they should be shamed and tarred and feathered and never work in public office ever again. Now speaking of deadly plagues and viruses on the human race, we have new updates on Hillary Clinton, who by the way is getting sued to the tune of $50 million by presidential Democratic hopeful Tulsi Gabbard, who is saying that Hillary Clinton defamed her when she called her a Russian asset during an October podcast. Clinton lied. Oh, what a surprise here. Sorry, <laughs> the article goes on. Clinton lied about her perceived rival Tulsi Gabbard with malice intent, the lawsuit states, which also claims harmed Tulsi and harmed American democracy as well. Now, another news that we just don't want to see, we don't want to hear about, we don't want to know about, like Hillary Clinton, we have Jeff, Jeff Bezos uh, schlong in the news, lit literally. Literally. Like, I'm not even trying to be hyperbolic here. I'm not even trying to to sensationalize things here uh, at all. But we are getting information from The Guardian, from their source, that is claiming that Jeff Bezos, the main guy behind Amazon, who also is connected with the CIA, the Washington Post, Big Brother surveillance databases, that his phone, Jeff Bezos' phone, was actually hacked by the Saudi crown prince, which he had conversations with on WhatsApp. And allegedly, Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi Arabian crown prince, sent Jeff Bezos a video clip which had malware that infected Jeff Bezos' phone and was able to hack him. Now, Saudi Arabia is outright dismissing this as, quote, absurd, but um, this is a, a ruthless uh, regime that literally uses bone saws on people that they don't like, and then they think of five different different stories about it and, and lie to the public about it, but 
But let's really kind of look at this, since uh, extortion is, is definitely not out of the rule book for the Saudis, and they are involved with many technological Silicon Valley companies that they are becoming more and more influential with. We have to understand, Saudi money is very vast, and a lot of it is concentrated in Silicon Valley for a reason, because they understand tech is the future. They are investing in it very heavily, and we should be extremely worried about that since there are many implications behind that. Now, the video by the Saudi Crown Prince was allegedly sent in May of 2018, and there's even other information coming out that the Saudi Prince was actually taunting Jeff Bezos over his affair and his divorce, which somehow the Crown Prince knew about before it became Public, with even allegedly the crown prince sending Jeff Bezos a message with a photo of a woman who resembled Lauren Sanchez containing a joke about how negotiating with a woman is like reading the software license agreement and then and then quote in the end he said you just agree all of this before any of this information was made public now it's important to note here the National Enquirer was also working on a similar story all the way back in January 2019. Allegedly, this sparked the major divorce that Jeff Bezos had. And I think uh, a lot of this is quite possible since there's other reports of the National Enquirer paying $200,000 for Jeff Bezos' text and his nude selfies. And like many people, we're finding out that he was allegedly threatened to to have those photos leaked. And again, the, the Amazon CEO said himself he was being blackmailed over his, his nudes. Now, the United Nations is actually investigating all of this right now, and this will be a, a story that we will be following very closely since it involves international espionage with the main Big Brother surveillance CIA figure himself, Jeff Bezos, and the oil-guzzling, torturing, human rights-violating empire that is Saudi Arabia that is being propped up by the United States and Donald Trump. Who, by the way, uh, we're also getting some information that is also planning, this isn't official yet, but is also planning to add seven other countries to the travel ban, considering Belarus, Eteria, Kyrgyzstan, Myanmar, Nigeria, Sudan, and Tanzania to be added to the list of countries where people cannot visit or stay in the United States. Why? Because this is this is this is the kicker here, and this is when you know um, the, the government is not out there to uh, serve or protect you. It's because these countries quote failed to meet the State Department standards for biometrics. Yes, these countries don't track, trace, and database their citizens as cattle as well as all the other countries that the State Department deems are, quote, done well. And that's absolutely terrifying. Because again, government is corrupt, just like we've seen in, in Puerto Rico. It is power that is against the natural laws of this world that incentivize bureaucracy, laziness, inept individuals to act as illegally as they want with the authority of violence and force behind them. And they punish anyone who stands in their way, including journalists like Glenn Greenwald, who, by the way, is also facing cybersecurity charges in Brazil that are obviously just blatant attacks on his journalism. Also, Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, they're still in jail. Many whistleblowers are still in jail. I think I may do a whole video. I may even reach out to him, try to interview him. Let me know if that's also another thing that you would like to see. We're an independent media organization. Uh, you guys are in charge here. You guys told me to go to Virginia. I went to Virginia. You guys want to see me investigate, cover a story, be somewhere on the ground? I will because I work for you. You allow me through sharing this video, through donating to this independent media organization, to helping us out any way you guys can to be here. And I'm still here against all freaking odds. A lot of people in this business are not around. If you look around, holy cow, I can't tell you the number of people that, 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 used to do this that are no longer here but i'm still here and i'm eternally grateful for that and this is why 
I say love you guys almost at every single broadcast. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.